Hello, this is uh, your professor Larry Asplund wanting to greet you just one more time here at the end of our Principles of Administration class. Wanted to say thank you. Thank you for an excellent class. Thank you for being excellent students, doing so well online. I certainly never take for granted the fact that uh, any number of students just don't seem to be able to get the knack of working effectively together online. But you all have been great. You've done very, very well and made it a good experience for everybody. You know, I think you've learned uh, some very important ideas in this class. You've learned some important principles of administration. You know, I've said before that uh, these ideas are not always available in Bible college training programs, and I think for you to be able to be exposed to them here at this point in your training experience has been very, very good. It's not, you know, your real exciting material, but it's stuff that you're going to be using in the future, so be sure to keep your text and be prepared to reference it in the future as you get to increasing leadership responsibilities. You've also learned some people wisdom along the way. You've been able to uh, take some time to find out more about how God has wired you, your own personality, gifts, temperament, your leadership style, and that's important information not only for you to have about yourself, but to appreciate the importance of having that kind of information for those that you will end up working with as well. I also really appreciate the opportunity to share a learning community with uh, all of you, to be able to share personally, to interact, to encourage, to learn from each other it has just been a great, great experience. And I'm sure if we were all together in Chicago or or Spokane or wherever you are, we would no doubt continue our friendship in the weeks and in the months that are ahead. So I just want to uh, say thank you. I want to uh, be able to encourage you here at the end. And really, I just want to be able to pause and, and pray for each one of you. So I wonder if you would join me in prayer. Father, I thank you for the great opportunity we've had to learn together in this class. I pray that you would teach us by your spirit, continue to plant into our hearts those things that you know we will need to use in the years that are ahead. I just want to pray that your blessings would rest upon each student. Father, I pray that you will continue to bless Jessica as she works to complete her, her undergraduate degree and ultimately to train to go and minister in Brazil. Father, I pray that you would bless Caleb who is uh, newly married and and is getting ready to complete his degree online and serve as a youth pastor, Father. Bless Mary. We appreciate her passion there for reaching unreached people groups, and we pray that your hand would rest upon her and her family in the Philippines. Thank you for Cynthia, Lord, with her uh, family experiencing military life in Okinawa. We just pray that you would bless the whole family as they prepare to serve you in, in Thailand. And Pastor Bill, Father, was working there in Idaho as a in, in pastoral ministry, we just pray that you would continue to bless him and his his wonderful family. Pray that you would bless Weston, who is completing his degree in Spokane, Father, that you would just uh, bless him as he's getting prepared to be married next year and going into a student ministry, Father. Thank you for Travis, Lord. We just pray that you would be with him and his, and his young family, his great family, working there on the military base and serving in student ministries. Bless Susan, Lord, as she's getting ready to serve once again in camp this summer. I know that you're going to make her a blessing. We pray, Father, for Evan, who has just got a heart for youth ministry and has had such great experience in interning in youth ministry and having great mentoring, Father. Just continue to bless him. Thank you for Sue, Lord, who is doing such a great work in, in children's ministry. And, and Wheaton, Father, we just pray that you'll continue to give her grace and wisdom. Thank you for April, Lord, there in Wisconsin. We uh, just pray that you would bless her as she's in Spokane completing her degree. And, and Bryce, Father, we pray that as he's moved and changes have come into his life in this season, that you would give him peace and grace and wisdom as he goes forward. Each one of us, Father, we're, we're your kids. We're your servants. And I just pray that your hand would rest upon us for good that your will would be done, that you would be glorified in and through our lives. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you, everyone. Have a wonderful uh, summer. And some of you I hope to see once again online.